everyone, thanks so much for joining me. In this video, we're gonna cover temple pose. It's a balance pose, it's a hip opener. Um, it reminds me a lot of half pigeon, um, a figure four stretch, everyone has a different word for that, a different name for it. Um, it reminds me of chair pose, because you're kind of in a single leg kind of chair. So there's gonna be a lot that's familiar about it. Um, it also, is this segue into a couple different arm balances. I don't know if we'll do them, but I'll, I'll kind of describe them. How about that? Um, anyway, I don't think you're gonna need any props other than your yoga mat. So let's go ahead and get started. So as with everything else, you want to begin in mountain pose. Okay, so center lines of the feet parallel to one another, and then that line coming up the legs, lining up your ankles, Mine definitely tend to roll, okay? Your um, center line of the ankles, center line of the knees, center line of the hips, okay? In this pose, when we take it, this is kind of a, the, the, the position, the hips tend to swing. With whatever leg is on top, we tend to drift that way. And so we're gonna work to pretend, okay, that there's a chair back there and we're really trying to evenly <laughs> sit, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show it this way, just so you can see the length, and my challenge is always to try to keep my spine neutral and not treat every single position like a back bend, okay? The other um, idea is, and I probably won't have my lifted foot at the wall, but I'm gonna pretend that I have my lifted foot at the wall, okay? So I've got those center lines, stacking everything, lengthening, sending my seat back, okay? So on its way into chair pose, shifting my weight into my standing leg, and then taking my other foot in front, okay? So, just show from, from a diff couple different perspectives, okay? So I've got this here, and I really need to know, you know, as I enter this, can I get my ankle, it's just slightly above the ankle, to, to this cushy spot above your knee, okay? So you could use oh, the wall back behind you, to consider that, but here, I want to be able to flex my foot really evenly and not torque the ankle, okay? So keeping the channel open at the ankle helps and protects the knee, okay? And then you might, I'm just using the wall here just for a second, so you might notice, okay, if you have access, especially to a mirror, are your is your seat wandering? So I want to also not have my ankle roll. So I'm looking for all these things, length in the spine, a sense of evenness in the hips, and we bring the hands together, thumbs at the forehead. Head of the arm bones back, lengthening the spine. So it's from that perspective, and I'll just show you with the other leg from this perspective, so just, so, just so you can see. I'm still bringing energy in toward the midline. Even though the lifted leg is in a hip opener and the um, standing leg is in a hip stabilizer position, I'm still trying to bring energy up and in toward the midline. Finding length, head of the arm bones in, smooth deep breaths and trying to keep myself really centered. And then the exit is just, uh, mindful release, okay? And then you can always play with more depth, taking the seat further back, lowering it down. Um, but it's a really, you know, you're just trying to feel that sense always of uplifting kind of energy without, okay, this really lifting up. So you, so you still want the sense of ease all the way up, okay? So those little variations. Uh, let's see here, so this one, Okay, with this leg, lengthen. So you could come into, it. this really has to do more with hip flexibility than anything else. But to come into a prayerish twist. Okay, well, <laughs> maybe. Okay, and I'm using the foot to arm connection um, as leverage. Okay, so that can lead into and arm balance. I'm not sure if my foot will stay on my arm, but this is just kind of just so much fun. I mean, that arm balances to me are just fun. All right, am I breathing? Maybe. <laughs> ah. 
Another version that you can do is forward rather than the twist. And I'm just I'm gonna hook the lifted shin on my um, tricep area. So here, I just I want to be able to show you how I'm gonna hook things. Okay. So again, it's on its way here to handstand. See, I'm hooking the foot. This is really why it has to do with hip mobility. My other, the other section of my leg is gonna hit the um, other tricep, visiting crow handstand type of sensations, looking forward, and yet I really have to make sure that the head of the arm bones are in the shoulder joints, and that I feel like my foot is not gonna completely slide down the arm. And then maybe, oh my goodness, so fun. Okay, breathing. <laughs> I'm not sure how far it'll go or will it stay. Eh. That's probably <laughs> about it for now, or else you'll all be letting you watch me for five minutes as I figure it out um, and organize and everything. But you get the idea. So a couple different arm balances. One is a twist, one is more neutral, and um, both just fun. Either way, tumble pose is a fantastic hip opener, okay? So I hope that this is helpful. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.